Today's show is pre recorded. Like a million bucks, bucks, Got things in its cup. Mm-hmm. Y'all tell me who could it be for Steve Harvey? Oh, yeah. Everybody out there listening to me. Mm-hmm. Put your hands together for Steve Harvey. Put your hands together. Oh, 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 oh. Steve Harvey. Oh, oh, oh. Steve Harvey. Why don't you join me? Yeah, yeah. 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 everybody you are listening to the voice come on dig me now one and only steve harvey got a radio show yeah man god is in the blessing business all day every day god got hundreds of millions of blessings that he passes out every day all i want to do is be the recipient that i'm the recipient of what he has for me that's all I want. I just want God's favor, and I go. I want God's blessings. You know, of course, I need his mercy and his grace, but I just want his blessings and his favor. I want, I want that in my life because it does things for me that I'm absolutely incapable of doing for myself. And I've been a recipient of many of those. And you can be the recipient of them, too. You already are, really. Really, you already are. If you're getting up every morning, that's a blessing. If you're getting one day closer to anything you're trying to accomplish, that's a blessing. But now, let, let me let, let me talk to you about this part right here, folks, because this is the part that messes people up a great deal. What happens when you get off track? What is that? What does that mean when you get off track? See, I've been off track, I can't tell you how many times. And it happens in so many aspects of your life. But but what is it that makes getting off track so debilitating to some people? You know, there are some people who once they off track, they off course, they off the dream, they on to something else. And you cannot allow the fact that you've gotten off track to stop you. Can I tell you something? Everybody gets off track. There are people who are living their life's dreams in spite of getting off track. See, what happens when you get off track, here's the simple thing to do. The simple thing is just to get back on track. Now, that's, that's, but that's easier said than done, ain't it, Steve? Yeah, because see, people, when you get off track, here's some of the things that happen. See, you get the, here come the naysayers, some of them from the outside, some of them internally. Here's what gets said when you get off track. See, I told you. I told you. You know, you you, you start hearing that. It's not for you. Okay? This is all just because you got off track. It's not for you. Okay, here's another one. 
it ain't meant to be. You can hear it or you can say it. Well, I guess it's just not meant to be. But let me ask you a question. though: Who made the rule that when you get off track, you can't get back on? Who, who made that rule? Where is that written that once you get off track, you can't get back on? See, because I'm going to tell you something, folks. There's no such rule. As a matter of fact, it's, it's quite the opposite. See, everybody in pursuit of a dream, a goal, an aspiration, or a mission is going to get off track sometimes. You're going to get derailed. There are going to be days where you're not going to get it right. There are going to be days where you feel like giving up. There's going to be days when you're just going to flat out get it wrong. That's the journey. But let me tell you something. Every successful person that I know, ever met, talked to, sat out and chopped it up with, have shared one thing in common. We all get off track. We all get it wrong along the way. I don't care who the person is. The president got it wrong along the way. Your pastor got it wrong along the way. Choir director Gwaii got it wrong along the way. The principal at your school got it wrong along the way. The valedictorian of your class got it wrong along the way. The star of the team got it wrong along the way. They've all been off track. Your boss down at your job, he got it wrong along the way. Your immediate supervisor got it wrong along the way. Everybody I know that has any measure of success in every in every level that you call success, however you want to label it, has gotten off track. As a matter of fact, it's impossible. Listen to me. It is impossible not to get off track in pursuit of your dreams, goals, visions, aspirations. It is impossible. Don't you let nobody tell you that they got through life unscathed, that they made it because they was just so determined and I would let nothing turn me back. Yeah, you might not have let nothing turn you back because you're here. Oh, but you thought about it. Oh, you thought about it on days when you was off track. But see, people don't like to tell the whole story. They just want you to think as much as you can about them. So when they tell you their story, they leave out, the, the, the stuff along the way. It was just hard work and determination that got me here. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was the fact that you got off track and the grace and mercy of God allowed you to get back on. His forgiveness allowed you to get back on because you would not believe what some of the people have done. So when you get off track, don't allow the naysayers outside and the big naysayer inside because let me tell you something. The biggest naysayer of them all comes from inside. See, it don't matter what other people say out there. It takes some time for you to learn this, and I understand, because it took me some time to learn it. See, I have a lot of naysayers out there, but I ain't operating for them. I operate and function for the ones that love me, for the ones that get me, for the ones that understand what I'm really trying to do. And so don't you be the one that doesn't allow yourself to get back on track when you get off track. Because like I said, who made the rule up that you can't get back on track? There's no such rule out there. Stop stopping yourself from getting it right. So what you started the diet at the beginning of the year and you already off? Start another one. Start over. Try it again. Don't ever stop trying. If you stop trying, you can't make it. But if you never give up the effort, if you never give up and say it's over, it ain't over. You heard the saying, it ain't over to the fat lady saying, I never invite her. She's not invited. It ain't over to the fat lady saying, I don't know where the fat lady stay. I have not sent her an invitation to none of my events. She's not welcome here. She didn't ask me a couple of times. How come I never get invited? Because you're going to start singing. And I ain't got time for that. All right? Stop inviting the fat lady to all your events. Thank you.
You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, everybody, you're about to listen to the Steve Harvey Morning Show, and it's about to be ignorant. Ignorant because we got the ingredients right here on this show to make it ignorant. First, we're going to start off with a little sprinkle of Shirley Strawberry. Not a hey. hard acre it, but you're going to give it to you. Yeah. Good morning, Jay. That's it. Good we morning. we pepper in somebody who makes sure the show don't boil over with ignorance, Carla Pharrell. Carla Pharrell. I love it. Good morning, Jay. What up, crew? Happy holidays. Now, here we go. We got our main ignorant ingredients. We're going to put in... We're going to chop up some Junior. Put that in there. What we got, Junior? Uh, This holiday season, we ain't paying for these light bills and your hub around to be plugged up. These Christmas lights ain't going down. I you love it. And last but not least, he's the king of pranks, y'all. My partner in crime, Tom Tom. What's up with you, man? Peanut butter and cabbage, baby. Keep it stupid. <laughs> what? Peanut butter and cabbage. Ooh. You heard what Run I said. Peanut butter and Can cabbage. Y'all believe Put it together. It? Try it. Can y'all believe yeah. it? It's but close. I... What? It's close. Christmas is close. It's oh, here. I know, it's right. next Friday. What? How is yeah. it every year we're never ready for it? And we know it's <laughs> coming every, every year at year. the same time. We're never yes. ready mm-hmm. for it. Well, <laughs> surely in our defense, yeah. March kind of shut yeah. things down. Yeah, it did. It yeah. shook us, didn't it? It shook yeah. us this year. <laughs> this is this is my fifty second, fifty third Christmas, man. This third. is third. Yeah, yeah, man. Third. Yeah, fifty third. third yeah. Can mm-hmm. I just speak to the? Mm-hmm. Can I speak to the Kwanzaa people? Can I speak mm-hmm. to them? Carefully. I don't want you to get Ask them. Careful. Ask them. I'm, I'm not <laughs> zooming. And I'm not coming, okay? I'm not. I know it's I know it's a nice holiday for you. I'm not zooming. But you and I'm not yeah. gonna put on my mask and come. I'm not I've But you're not gonna one. ask him though? I'm not gonna. I, I've uh-uh. you ever done a no, puzzle party? I've done one. And I, I, know, I no, swore to my man upstairs I'll never do another one. Ever. I've been to one. <laughs> okay. And what I've been happened? to a few. I've been to a yeah. few. What happened? Yeah. What happened? Oh, it, okay. was, it was nothing. <laughs> but ain't nobody going to say nothing. It's sat around. No, we're we're not. Each other. It's, we're ne- not. it's no it's holiday not cheer in here. Man, oh, here's okay. something, here's okay. something you never hear about a Kwanzaa party. Man, I went to a Kwanzaa party last night. It was off the chain. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I said no one ever, I'm Jay. Talking about, man, I can't wait for man. that. <laughs> Boy, they throw it down. So what do they do at Kwanzaa? Can some, they talk, just, it's a lot of them. deep talk. A lot of yeah, deep talk. talking. Oh, yeah, a lot okay. of deep oh. talk. Talking about the uh, principles. About the principles. Yeah. The principles yeah. 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 Oh, I thought you meant yeah. deep as in tone. Like, every Kwanzaa day. No, 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 no. <laughs> deep. <laughs> deep. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> Not that type of deep. Deep as in you go, I think I see my friend. I'll be right back with you, okay? That's the kind of deep it is. Stupid. I thought it was, I want to say happy Kwanzaa. Everybody, yeah. everybody happy Kwanzaa. No. I don't want to happy Kwanzaa, no. baby. Yeah, you I'm looking at that sheet you got on. <laughs> oh, show you right. right. <laughs> it's hard to be at a Kwanzaa party when you Are you going to eat the rice and beans or the rice and beans? What you going to eat? Let me know. <laughs> it's a very white Kwanzaa Christmas. You don't want to miss it. It's a very white one. Huh? Coming up in 32 <laughs> minutes after the hour, <laughs> ask Bitter Man right after this. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, time now for Ask Bitter Man, also known yeah, as J. Right. Anthony Brown. J. Anthony Brown is Bitter Man. Mm. And what, mm. Jay, you say what? I'm not here to help you get through this, okay? That's not my purpose in life. And that's pretty Thank much you. the way I live with everything. I'm not yes. here to help you <laughs> get through a damn thing. <laughs> Nothing. But Jay, that's part of your yeah. charm. We that's, love that's you for that. Of, that's, that's what yeah. Bitter Man do. Henceforth yes. the name Bitter Man. Bitter Man really help you. No, he won't. No, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Jim, Bitter let's Man. See what you got. <laughs> this one is from Carlos in South Philly. He says, a year ago, I started having sex with a lady I met on Snapchat. 
Uh, mm -hmm. We used to have sex in my car when she got off work, and it went on for about a month, and then she got a new job. I'm in a relationship with a new woman, and she took me to a holiday party at her cousin's house. Her cousin is a girl I used to have sex with in my car, and she told me I wasn't welcome in her home. Uh, wow. I told my girlfriend I wasn't feeling good, and uh, I called a ride. At some point, should I tell my girlfriend I slept with her cousin? Mm. <laughs> Everybody mm. knows the rule. You never, ever give up information, ever, ever, about a damn <clears throat> thing. You don't ever give up information. Are you mm -hmm. stupid or what? What is wrong with you? What people don't know, you don't fill them in about it. What? What? Yeah, what? Yeah. You better learn family, how to family wrong sex. With you. Family sex is the worst sex. It really is. Yeah. When you it go is. one it family is. member to another one, it's just, it just don't never work out. It just. No. And you know this just, how? No. Well, we heard I'm about saying it. this for a friend that's been through something. I'm just <laughs> right, saying. Right, right. I've heard. You read a lot. <laughs> you read a lot. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Huh? No, I was what, say, all I know is he just need to learn how to re-meet people. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Yeah. Brenda, right? Brenda. Oh, nice to meet you, Brenda. Right, okay. Junior. Play uh, that yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like I it. Like it all right, we're moving yeah. on. Tina in Augusta says, yeah. uh, I've been dating a man for eight years, and he spends too much time on the phone with his sister. Every morning when he's eating breakfast, he calls his sister. When he's getting dressed, he's got his earbuds in talking to his sister. Same thing when he gets home from work. He's on the phone. I asked his sister why they talk so much, and she said they're just very close. I think my man is talking to someone else, and his sister is lying for him. Should I mm. press the issue with him? Now, uh, anybody with a sister tell you that you don't talk to your sister that damn much? I got a sister. <laughs> I it's a sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to talk to your sister that damn much. And I don't really yeah. talk to my sister. These are more like listens. I say hello. <laughs> And my sister is off to the races. So uh, nobody, no man wants to talk to his dad. He yeah. talking to somebody else. He talking to somebody yeah. else. He ain't talking yeah. to his sister that much. Yeah. Right, I, right. <laughs> I am a sister. and My brother and I are very close, but we don't talk like that on the phone. Uh -huh. We talk a lot, but no, not like that. You're right. Well, yeah, Junior and Tommy, like y'all got sisters too, do y'all? Uh -huh. I got three of them. Uh -huh. okay, we, we don't talk like this here. I'm not getting up, getting dressed, and then what, <laughs> while I'm eating dinner. Then, I mean, I love Tanya to death, but I'm not. We just not. It, we ain't got that much to say now. Right. I mean, yeah, yeah. And I love and, her. And, Once and you tell me, and, big bro, I need a hundred dollars. Okay, cool. I'll, yeah, be, I'll drop it off. But I'm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then sometimes you see a call from your sister. You go, ah, oh, hell. Okay, uh -huh. let me answer. <laughs> let me just get Who this is out it? the Who way. Is it? Well, wait, wait, Jay. Let's hear Junior. Come on, Junior. Your oh, that's you got, a different man. kind of sister. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I got three of them. If it, it better be your birthday before we talk. <laughs> <laughs> it better be. You better be to accomplish something before we talk. I graduated. Okay, girl, good. Okay, All right, now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on. Freddie okay. in Detroit yeah. says, uh, I've been dating a woman for almost three years, and she's the worst gift giver. She orders me crap online, and nothing. I, it's nothing I'd ever wear. She doesn't get my style or my swag, but I know exactly what she likes. And every year for her birthday and Christmas, she brags on her gifts to her girlfriends. I care about her, and it shows in the gifts. Her. How can I tell her to stop buying me a bunch of BS? <laughs> you, got, you got to go. You got to go with the old brick pound cake gift. The one thing huh? about the brick pound cake gift, when you wrap it up, it weighs a lot. It weighs a pound. So the person who yeah. gets it thinks, ooh, I got a real nice gift. And mm. it's a damn pound cake. And make sure it's not fresh. It's got to be an old-ass pound cake. Just not not one well, you could Jay. eat. Wrap. A pound, I mean, a pound, not pound cake, fruit cake. Fruit, fruit cake. cake. Oh, there I was you go. Fruit say, cake. Yeah. There you go. Cake. Love fruit me some cake. pound cake. Nothing yeah. says I hate you like a fruit cake. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, nothing says I don't give a damn about your existence like a fruit like a fruit cake. Cake. <laughs> all that jelly said, and nuts. Nothing and says stuff you in don't there. mean a damn thing to me. Like I don't care if it's round or square. If it's a fruit cake, that person don't give a damn about you. Give a and fruit you know cake. what, Jay? Jay, a fruit cake ain't nothing but a pound cake that's been rolled on the floor. That's what a fruit Thank cake you. is. Thank and you. It, it, Thank it, it, it pick up all the fruit and everything. Thing, scraps on the floor. Yeah. It's a great sweep. And, and let me ask you this, time: man. How you take a pound cake, put fruit in it, and it turn brown? What's that about? What the hell is that? <laughs> All right.
right, here we go to Steve. <laughs> I'm with you on- right. <laughs> uh-huh. an- <laughs> Steve's an online listener. He says, I am 40 and I'm dating a woman that's 41 and recently divorced. Her ex-husband spoiled her and I'm having a hard time with her expectations. She expects me to pick her p- pick her car up once a week and have it washed, filled mm. up with gas, and have a lawn man do her yard work. Uh, these are things that a man normally does for a woman, but this woman gave me a list of things that she expects from me. We haven't even had sex yet, and she has oh, me no. walking her oh, dog. No. Hell no. Oh, no. But she she yeah. has me walking you're her doing, dog every you're day. Doing, you're doing good <laughs> sex chores without good sex. That's what you've been doing. <laughs> and you, you all caught up in it. Yeah. You ain't had no business walking that dog. You should have never <laughs> walked that dog. It, it, right. <laughs> okay, Jay, one more time. What now? What? He is doing good sex chores without uh-huh. getting good sex. And he, he is way off the grid. He is he way off. Oh, man. All right. Coming up next, the nephew is in the building, as you can hear, with Run That Prank back right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, Miss Ann is standing by with today's national news. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell finally, did you hear that? Yeah. Finally he's recognized probably, Joe I, Biden. I, I fought a long time for Biden and he's President <laughs> Donald Trump. I don't give a damn what you say. You got to go. We got a new man coming in tomorrow. Yeah, that's <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> yeah he finally <laughs> recognized Joe Biden as President yeah. elect. Imagine yeah. that. Well, that's his, right his, 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 his neck is tied. You know, he's been sticking his <laughs> neck out. He's been sticking his neck out for Trump. So it's t- can't you see it when he talks? It's tied. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, that's the wobble right is there. doing the uh-huh. wobble. I see it. I see it. Yes. All right. Uh, and the FDA is clear with the path for another COVID vaccine. Plus, in entertainment news, Cardi B and Offset matching birthday gift behavior. We'll talk about all of these stories at the top of the hour. But right now, it is the nephew with Run That Prank Back. What you got for us, Neff? Uh... <sighs> What's wrong? I, you know what? I was finna preach and then I stopped myself, uh-huh. and then I and then I started up again. So it, anyway, it I, it lost its 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 it know. lost its flavor. Okay. Right. Yeah. It lost my its roommate flavor, Benny man. preach that my thing. Roommate, my roommate Benny. Benny. Yes, mm-hmm. my roommate Benny. Let's 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 see what Benny has to say. Come on, cat right. dog. Hello. Must be the Devin. Yeah, this he. Okay, hey man, this is Chris. I live above you. I ain't never met you before, but uh, you, 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 have you been calling the leasing office about uh, uh, complaining on me about I'm making too much noise or what? Yeah, yeah, man, my bad, bro. I, I was trying to catch you, man. I could never, uh, I could never catch you at home, man. It's just like you know, bro. I, well, I, I work, work at night. I work at night. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I work in the day. But I can't sleep at night, bro, because I don't know what's going on in your apartment. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be in your business. I'm not trying to be in your business, player. I, I just can't get no sleep at night, man, because it would be a lot of noise up there, a lot of noise, a lot of talking. And what you do is your business, bro. I'm just saying, man, please, dog. Hey, man, man, but you ain't have to go to the leasing office, man. All you had to do, you know, was holler at me. You ain't, they, you know, they got me written up like, you know, one, one more complaint on me. They going to put me out or something. Well, yeah, dog. Like I say, though, I was trying to get, I was trying to find you, you know what I'm saying, but we, well, I guess we miss each other, because you, you work at night, and I work in the day, so, you know, when you go and I'm coming, and when I'm coming, you go, you know what I'm saying, I, bro, I ain't trying to start no shit. I'm just trying to, you know, go to work and pay my pay my bills, man, that's how I'm I'll be at work at night, man, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to get my hustle on like you trying to get yours on doing hold the on, day. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, okay, let's make it make sense, bro, if you at work at night, somebody in your somebody in your apartment talking loud than a Keeping me up, square business. Okay. You got a roommate or something? No, somebody I ain't got that. no room. Uh, I ain't got no roommate. Man, you might have heard Benny. Somebody in there talking loud, holding a conversation. It's like two people in there talking loud every <laughs> night. Every no, night, that's, bro. that's Benny, man. Benny be talking. Okay, you say you ain't got no roommate, so who, who is Benny? Who is Benny? Benny is my bird, my parrot. That's Benny be talking. Oh, say, man, stop <laughs> with me, dog. Listen, man, why, why, wait a minute. You trying to tell me a, a bird? That's oh, Benny, man. Say, I done had Benny 10 years. That's my bird. Birds don't even live that long. So so now I'm up at night. I'm up at work because a, a bird? That's what you want? That's, that's, that's what you call me to tell me? A bird? I call you to tell you you ain't got to be putting these complaints on me, man. Say, man. But I, I'm, at, I'm gone at night. That's Benny you talking, know, man. Where the Benny then? your bird, dog. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't Benny, dog. Wait a minute. 
Listen, hey, look, I'm telling you now. Do something with the bird, then, or it's going to be some consequences and repercussions. I'm talking about some fried chicken around this. Hey, man, Penny is like a family member to me. Bird. Two cans, Sam. The chicken on the cornflake box. Kentucky chicken. Churches. All that. Hey, man, you don't tell me nothing bad about my bird. Okay, brother, you know what? Maybe me and you need to square off in front of each other. Because you don't you don't disrespect Benny, man. All right, all right. <laughs> you think there's some... All right, all right. I bet that be on my table when I get home. If it's a bird, then I bet that be on my on the table, man. Hey, man, now you ain't finna sit there and disrespect me and try to tell me what you gonna do to my bird. Now you ain't finna do nothing stupid to Benny. Tell you what, I tell you what. See, you can date, you at home right now, but you go to work tonight. I bet you Benny don't be at that tomorrow. I bet you we be finger licking good tomorrow. Hey, man, hey, man, hold on a minute, man. Wait a minute, dog. Hey, what you can't do is start talking about what you gonna do to my bird. Now I done told you, you filed for going to the leasing office calling me out. And now you on the phone. I'm trying to work this out with you. And now man, you, you ain't trying to work it out. Now, first off, you, you call me and tell me that it's a bird holding a conversation with itself. I'm, I'm the stupid right now. I'm, I'm the stupid for even continuing this conversation about a bird. It's keeping me up all night. Are you serious? Man, man, you need to do some earbuds or something, man. Say, man, listen, bro. Listen. Whatever the it is. If it's a bird, a recording, whatever it is, you better do something with it. And if it's a bird, man, I'm gonna be so insulted if this is a bird. I'm gonna really. It oh, is man. a bird. It's Benny, man. It's Benny. You all you had to do was come to me, and we could have handled this like me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. We gonna handle it like me and then. First off, leasing office wouldn't give me a name. What's your name? My name Chris. Okay, Chris. I'm Devin. There we go. There we go. Listen, dog. I ain't for the past three months. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really been getting no sleep because of this bird. You say it's a bird? I, I don't believe that. But a bird, my a bird? Come on, dog. That's Do my something bird, about the Benny, bird. Man. Do something I ain't about been it for 10 years. Well, look, take the to work with you then. I don't care. Figure something out. But whatever going on up there with you and your bird need to come to an immediate house. Or it's going to be some Dog? Hey, man, hey, man, what you can't do is threaten me about what's going on in my household, man. Look here, you and Benny, Benny, Lenny, whatever the name is, you need to do something with that or it's going to be some real issues. Man, why am I going back and forth with you about this and you keep telling me something about a bird? It's a bird. What's the problem with it? What's the problem understanding that people have pet birds? Say, man, I don't give a if you have a pet bird, but really, this talk all night long. How do you, how do you, how do you live with this Man, cause don't never shut up. I, I tell you what, I tell you what Benny told me to tell you though. Can I tell you what Benny told wait, me to tell wait, you? Wait, 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 Chris, wait, wait, bro. I don't want to hear what no bird told you to tell me. Oh my Can God! Can I tell you what Benny told me to tell you? What? What? What the Benny? did Benny? Benny told me to tell you this: that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy, Sean. <laughs> you <laughs> you <laughs> serious, dog? Uh, did I get you, man? You got me, dog. You got me, man. That <laughs> guy, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna have to wait till this dude get home, dog, and talk to him. I ain't talk so much you about this supposed bird. I don't know what's so sad, man. I mean, the dude, dog, I'll be up all night, you know what I'm saying? I'm missing I I'm missing my sleep. I'm missing, you know what I'm saying? I'm missing y'all in the morning because I'm drowsy, hitting the snooze But I got one more thing to ask you, Debbie. What is, what is the baddest, I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? Ah, oh, man, Steve Harvey Morning Show. We never get some. <laughs> That's how you prank right there. That's how you do it, man. <laughs> That's how you do it. And don't and don't pull up on your preaching, man. When you start out, go in it. Just do it. Just let it go. Yeah. Just go yeah. in it, man. Yeah. As you know, last year. Thank you, nephew. Saying. Coming up <laughs> at the top of the hour, national and entertainment news right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. In today's entertainment news, Cardi B returned the birthday love she was showered with back in October. You remember that? Well, Cardi B surprised her hubby Offset with a brand new Lambo for his birthday. What? 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 Whoa. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Put your money down. Uh Place your bets. Put your money down. 
relationship. Oh, if they break up, they're getting back together. Don't even. <laughs> yeah, they've done together. this yeah. three, four, yeah, five times. Is, yeah, 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 that's, that's nothing new, right Jay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Offset uh, celebrated his birthday with a party at a nightclub, and toward the end of the night, Cardi escorted him outside and surprised him with a bronze-colored Lambo priced at $600,000. I did not stutter. Priced huh? at $600,000. More than half a million. Man, I gotta what are we yeah. doing like wrong, Cardi. Junior? I'm not saying, Tommy, I got to find somebody like Cardi. God, dog. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday. I'm well, sick of this cologne. Shit. I'm telling you. Well, I'm now, that. wait a minute now. Look what Cardi got for her birthday, okay? She got a customized Rolls Royce. Remember that? For yeah. her 28th birthday. Remember yeah. that with a Not customized car that. seat for a little culture, baby culture, all of that. Wow. You know when, when, you, when, you, when you got that much money between <laughs> two wow. people, when you got that much money between two people, you can just say, Merry Christmas, you good, I'm good. You good, I'm good. Merry Christmas. Do you know, do you know what I got for my 28th birthday? <laughs> I want to hear a this. A nice what? bottle of Lagra fail. That's what I got for my 28th uh, birthday. A nice well, bottle nice. of Lagra fail. That was nice. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. nice. That ain't what they got. What is your thing? <laughs> you ain't but, them. Yeah. That ain't no Lambo. I know no, no Rose. What are you? What? <laughs> yeah, we somewhere we went wrong. Look at him. You got you some hot buttered that. rolls. And, and appreciate that sweater you're going to get because you ain't getting no car, okay? Uh, or, okay. or some yeah. socks and a tie and some, some cufflinks. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, it ain't even a used car in our future. This, is, <laughs> this was bad. <laughs> well, in other news, according to Essence Magazine, upon the release of the Netflix, Netflix film Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Denzel Washington opened up on working with Chadwick Boseman on what would be his last film. Film. Denzel said while on set, no one knew of Chadwick's colon cancer diagnosis, and he also talked about the love he saw between Chadwick and his girlfriend at the time. Now she's his wife, Simone Ledward. Take a listen. Wow. Credit to him. You know, he kept it to himself. It was nobody's business. He was there to deliver, and he delivered. Certain members of his team knew. His wife was there. Or they weren't even married yet. I used to watch how she took care of him. And I actually said to him, I said, man, you need to put a ring on that finger because she kept her eye on him and she watched him. I'm like, man, she loves that guy. You know, but I didn't know what we know now. Chad will live forever, period. (sighs) Anyway, when you hear Denzel talk, it's like it's from a movie or something, but that's just how... I got chills. That's the legend right there. Yeah. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah. That was Denzel, guys. Right. Yes. Yeah. And, and for him to speak highly of, of this of brother, Chadwick. That, that, that's oh, yeah. Yeah. volumes. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. 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 His legacy will live forever. Denzel it, it is absolutely will. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoa. Chadwick is already missed. sick, man. I mean, yeah. he did a lot of movies. Mm-hmm. And nobody mm-hmm. knew he was sick. No one. Ex- exactly. No one. Jay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Such a legacy of, of yeah, film. Man. So and, I'm gonna be missed so much, and, man. Yeah, really. he, he really will. He really, really, really will. What a year, twenty twenty. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. More? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Woo. Yeah. All right. Uh we're gonna switch gears here and move on. Uh Jay, time for headlines. All right, everybody. It's time for the news with Miss Ann Tripp. Thank you, Jay. Good morning. This is Ann Tripp. The U.S. is now one step closer to having an access to two coronavirus vaccines. The Food and Drug Administration uh, has released evaluation of a second one. This one developed by Moderna. It's said to be 95 to 94 to 94 percent effective in fighting off the virus. And later today, an advisory panel is scheduled to meet to discuss Moderna's request for an emergency use authorization. President-elect Joe Biden campaigned in Georgia yesterday on behalf of two Democrats, John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock, uh, facing tough U.S. Senate runoff races against Republican incumbents David Perdue and Kenny Lawfer. If Ossoff and Warnock win, control of the Senate would then pass from the GOP to the Democrats. By the way, Kelly Lawfer was recently seen posing in a picture with a former Klansman. She claimed she didn't know he was a racist. Meanwhile, former gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams joined that drive-in rally to rev up the party faithful in light of last month's defeat of Donald Trump. Last time I talked to you, I said we needed to make a plan to vote. Well, we need to do it again. The last time we talked, I said, we need to send in our mail-in ballots, return them in your drop boxes or in your mailboxes, but we need to do it again. Early voting has already started in the Peach State. Election Day is January 5th. 
Congressional leaders are meeting this week to try and reach agreement on a new coronavirus relief bill. And the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer say they're focused on getting it all done before leaving Washington for the holidays. We're not leaving here without a COVID package. It's not going to happen. We need to pass COVID relief to help our fellow Americans get by until we eradicate this virus. That's right. Senator McConnell and House Speaker Pelosi have reportedly discussed the possibility of attaching a bipartisan relief measure onto a larger spending bill that would keep the government funded until next year. Uh, right now, lawmakers differ on the amount of additional aid for state and local governments. Well, it took about a month, by the way, but it finally happened. The Republican head of the U.S. Senate, Mitch McConnell, believe it or not, admits now that Joe Biden won the presidential election. Many millions of us had hoped the presidential election would yield a different result. But our system of government has processes to determine who will be sworn in on January the 20th. The Electoral College has spoken. I want to congratulate President-elect Joe Biden. And uh, she, he, McConnell also gave his congrats to Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. And now, in light of those final Electoral College numbers, some other Republicans admitting uh, that Biden won, like staunch Trump supporters Lindsey Graham of South Carolina and Iowa's Chuck Grassley. Mitt Romney always said that Biden won. Finally, today is National Chocolate Covered Anything Day. Now back to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go into a place <laughs> that you may have never gone before. A place that gets dark, a place that has corners and crevices and places where people really should not belong. We are going deep into the mind of J. Anthony Brown. All right, first of all, 2020 yeah. has been a fantastic year. Had a good year, a movie, a TV show, working here got better. Now it's time for Murders the Hits. Now this segment is called Murders the Hits. Okay? Do not compare it to the original hit because this is being murdered. For you right there, man. <laughs> I love it, Jay. That was good. That was good, Jay. Very good. Oh, I love it, Jay. Thank you. Taking so that man. new vaccine. Okay. Taking that Thank new you. vaccine. Taking that new vaccine. Uh -huh. Okay, Jay. Hey, hey, so we I, doing we I doing new a, songs. I was on a doobie when I was Hey, I was on a doobie when I was trying to sing that damn song. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jay, I gotta ask you the That's same crazy. question I asked the nephew. How do you come uh -huh. up with this stuff? Hey, the brilliance is of the show is on this side of the room, okay? Just so y'all know that. The come brilliance on over here. of this show is on this side. If you want to be brilliant, come on over here. That's what oh, it look is. Look at the time. We got to go. Uh, coming up in 34 minutes after the hour, <laughs> we're going to talk about the pandemic right after this. 
You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Well, guys, here's a question for you, our, our wonderful, funny comedians on the show. Now, just say, if the pandemic could be on hold for just one day, all right, things could get back mm-hmm. to normal for just one day, what would you do on that day? How would you what play that day you out? Mean, what we going to do? Starting in the morning, as soon as you get uh-huh. up, what you going to do? Let's go. Oh, Ass naked. I'm, what? <laughs> I'm naked. No I'm mask. Phone calls. No mask. Yeah. And naked. naked. Boots. Not one day. Boots one and day. shades on. And I'm finna <laughs> just walk outside and oh. enjoy myself. I already know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I might Breeze come pick blowing. you up naked. I might drive over there naked to come get you because. And we gonna all... roll naked. Yeah. And yeah. go find some more naked people <laughs> that wanna have a good ass time. A whole day. A whole day. <laughs> What Can about you, go? Junior? Yeah, oh, I, wanna... oh, I got a list of stuff I'm doing. First thing I'm doing is I'm going to a funeral of somebody I don't even know. I'm walking there hollering, Hera! <laughs> Hera! <laughs> no, I'm not here! <laughs> then I'm going to leave there. I'm going to leave there. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm gonna, then I'm going to leave there. And then I'm going down to the courthouse just to see who in there. Who case up for the day? <laughs> <laughs> Just want to see who in here today. <laughs> I got to do stuff. Take a long time. We got one day. Got to be all the yeah, way out for the whole day. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Now wait. Not, so Shirley, not, tell everybody what they're doing again. What it's going to <laughs> All right. This we asked the question. We posed the question to the guys. If the nephew were, uh, if the nephew, if the pandemic were on hold for just one day, what would you do? And you heard what the nephew would do. And then Jay. Yeah, I'm with Tommy. They would just be and, naked. And, and, and eventually, we gonna pick up Junior when he leave out the courthouse. And we just grab <laughs> him, and he gonna Me? get in that neck. We going to yeah. the naked fun, okay? I don't no, care what nobody on. say. Yeah. Would you travel? I, would you I go on a flight? Yeah. Go to? I would go to Vegas. I, I, yeah. In one day, oh. I would go. I would For go one out. day. Ooh, that's a quick think? turnaround, Carla. You're losing a lot of naked mm. time when you do that. You know I mean? <laughs> you're, you're losing a lot of naked time. Yeah, Be naked in Vegas. <laughs> but you, that, that's that's four hours, three hours flight, three hours back, six hours of naked you're missing right there. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't give it up. We talking about 24 hours, baby. You got to think, baby. We can, we can gamble. We can gamble naked. You ain't got to yeah, fly, no. If you fly what southwest, you, you can look naked. at the naked people you sitting with. You can look right at them. <laughs> if I leave the courthouse, I think I'm going to stop on by a quinceanera. I ain't never been to one of them since I've been there. I'm going to go by a quinceanera, sit in there, see who get, who, who turned to 15. <laughs> Watch that. Wow. <laughs> so, okay, so no masks and no clothes, obviously. No, you guys. not at all. I want to free days. myself. Uh-huh. Yeah. Go ahead and free yourself. Oh, now that's what I would do. I'd go see Tasia. <laughs> hey, Tasia. Oh, Tasia. Oh, I love me some Tasia. Tasia about to have yeah, a baby. Yeah, she's about to have a baby. Yeah, she's expecting. Yeah. Is uh-huh. she? Uh-huh. Congratulations. Congratulations, go ahead, Tasia. Tasia. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. But you don't Tasia. give up the fight, Tommy. You never give yeah. up the fight. That's okay. Well, yeah. I ain't going to be mad at the baby. The baby ain't doing no, nothing wrong. It ain't they got ain't nothing to do with the baby. Well, yeah, that's another so. thing we can do. When Tasia, the whole baby day, we all for the that. pandemic. We can go see Tasia's baby being born. We can go <laughs> over Let's just stop over there for Tasia's baby birth. Let's go do that. Yeah. We out. And while we and while we down in Carolina, we got to holler at Anthony Hamilton. Yeah. Come on, now. Yeah. 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 His new song, Mercy. Uh-huh. And we got to holler That's at That's a bad Clyburn. boy right there, Clyburn's man. Clyburn's yeah. down there. We got to holler at him. He down there doing oh, good yeah. 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 doing. And thank him for, yes. for and, convincing and, Joe Biden to run for yes, the presidency. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And, then while we and out, we got to go on down there to uh, go down there to High Point because, you know, furniture is cheaper down there at High Point. You go down there and get in there. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? We we got since we out and hey, but one day we gotta go by the White House and yeah, get your ass out of there. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that, then go in the house. I like it, Julie. I like that a lot. I like closing it out like that. Yeah. I do. So what time yeah. well what time is it now, Junior? You've done Ooh, all that. About ten thirty when we get through doing that. <laughs> right. Are you so tired? what are we gonna do with this last hour and a half of naked? What are we gonna yeah, do? Yeah, what are you gonna eat? You going to a Ooh. restaurant or something? You haven't oh, eaten sure, all we day. We got but one day. We ain't got time to eat. You have well, time to the eat. The last hour we gonna need to spray down because we have definitely caught something. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be COVID, but it's something else. (laughs) Coming up next, the nephew, you hear him, he's here in the building with the prank phone call right after this. (laughs) You're listening 
to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today's subject, grandparents gone wild. And I'm talking mm. buck wild oh, in this okay. letter. Wait till you hear it. Is. Yeah, that yeah, is. we'll get into it in a little bit. Right now, the nephew's here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Neff? Title is Chopper's Funeral at the Club. <laughs> Chopper's Funeral <laughs> at the Club. Let's go, Ken. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to reach uh, James, James, James. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Hey, this this is uh, Gerald. Uh, I, I was a friend of uh, uh, your, your friend Chopper. Yeah, yeah, huh? And Chopper just uh, passed away last week, right? Yeah, he did. Uh, I know they supposed to have a funeral and stuff over at uh, at Mount Baptist Church. And uh, I, I don't really know you, but me, me and me and Chopper and a bunch of the rest of us, man, we used to hang out at the club not too far from the house. You know, that's pretty much where yeah. Chopper was all the time at the, mm-hmm. at the club. Yeah. Anyway, what bunch of us was over at the club talking, man, and I was, we was really wanting to reach out to one of the family members, you know, and then somebody said you was, you know, kind of a good friend of his. Mm-hmm. And well, we, 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 we decided to call you and see if you didn't mind. Do, do you think, that you can talk to uh, some of the family members and see if they don't mind having the funeral at the club. At the club. What, what, see what I'm. Let me let me try to explain something to you, uh, Jane. Is what we're trying to do is see. We believe well, that we believe. Well, you, you said at the club. Come on, the club. There's a funeral. What? I, and that's what I, and I understand it, but see, see, Chopper. Chopper ain't really go to church a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? He ain't really, really go as long as I've been knowing him. Now, he love the Lord and stuff like that. Yeah, well, but these are church-going folks. They yeah, want a funeral. But I, I understand. But see, Chopper wouldn't. Chopper wouldn't. Chopper went to the club. So what I'm asking you is, let's have a funeral at the club. Hell no, bro. Come on. We can't have no funeral at no club, man. Come on. No, no. I okay, but I but can't. what what I'm saying is though is that he wasn't really he wasn't really no church going person. I believe that a person ought to be uh uh, uh the last words ought to be said over him in a place he's more familiar with. You know what I'm saying? Player, player. No, I, I don't. I don't know what you mean, player. No, this this got to be a funeral. This. This is this is church for I go to church and all my folks go to church. No, we we, we got to do this thing up in church. This this is a church thing. But you don't you don't feel. But do you understand where I'm coming from? No, that man ought to gone on, and and the last words ought to be in a place he more familiar with. Now, if he went to church, then I understand that. You see no, what I'm saying? No, bro, hell no, no. See, it's, it's his chance to get himself right. We don't we don't have him up in church in, in front of everybody. You know that don't make sense. Who's this again? I mean, who are you? My, my name's Gerald. But, but who is Gerald? I mean, how do you, how do you relate to this? Are, are you a preacher or are you? No, no, you, no. Where no, are you? No, 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 no. I'm I'm I was friends with Chopper, and see, I hung out at the club and still hang out there with um a whole bunch of you know was real good friends with Chopper, and we were saying that you know yeah. Chopper's the last words about Chopper ought to be said at the club because see that's what Chopper was. But five six days a week, that's what Chopper was. Yeah, but what church are you affiliated with? I mean, what, what, why the hell would I I, I I try to talk to the family, make me look stupid in front of the family, telling them to put the thing in a club? How the f*** that going to go off? Well, well, see, see, that's what I'm saying. You know them way more than we do. Cause yeah, see, but they- you're talking about trying to move from a damn funeral at a church to a damn nightclub or a strip club or something. No, it's not no strip club, just a nightclub. Well, you- it's the same thing, ain't it? I mean, you talking about having folks travel from across the country and meet in the damn club. What kind of is that? But that's and what Chopper how, was. That's what Chopper was. How the f- I'm going to look if I'm the one telling them to move this to the damn club? You're going to look like somebody that's trying to... I'm going to look like a f- fool. No, you're not. You're going to look like somebody that's trying to keep it real. I can't even f- come to the damn funeral if I was to do some f- like that. Okay, okay, let me ask you this here then. Let me ask you this here, uh, Jane. Do you think do you think you can uh, maybe get the body and bring it over to the club? No, hell no. Well, I'm just saying before they even do the funeral or whatever. Oh, you... hell no. I ain't touching. 
scared to walk in the dog by myself. What the f I'm gonna touch this body for? Hell no. We just trying to say our last words at Chopper Man in a place that Chopper well, most. No, hell Again, who the f are you? How the f you get my number? They, the, somebody at the club had your number said you was friends. Why the f y'all call me, of all folk? Because why the f y'all call me? They say you good, you in with the family and you can I talk. I am in with the family, but I ain't in in the family make, make me look stupid. Hell no. Won't y'all, I give y'all the number to the family. Y'all call the family. Y'all tell them that yourself man i want i just want trying to get you to bring the body by man and let us no i ain't touching no dead body we just want to have one last drink with chopper well, man you have one with your boys and you you, you get together with them and, and y'all talk about bottom and, 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 and let them know how chopper was what kind of person he was what kind of person he but we need now. to we want chopper to be there this chopper this is chopper you talking about man y'all this... bring y'all to the church y'all need to be up in the church we want to have Chopper at the club where we man, know. Come on, man. Y'all full of Well, we y'all know. Y'all ain't going to my up and have my looking like a fool at a damn funeral. But, but this about Chopper, though. And damn right it's about Chopper. You bring Chopper to that club. Y'all tripping, man. I ain't doing I'm just going to this funeral. I'm going to tell the family what I think about Chopper, and I'm moving my on. If y'all want to act crazy in front of the family, y'all call the family y'all seldom do that Look, I got one more thing I want to say. I don't even know your what, 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 what? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy. Oh, you tripping. <laughs> this Nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your boy told me to prank you. Man, y'all full of <laughs> man. I just know y'all ain't did this. James, this is nephew Tommy, man. No, Your boy. No, 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 player. Oh, oh, man, I can't believe this. No, he didn't. I can't even believe he did that. Hey, man, oh. I got one more thing to ask you, man. Oh, man. What is what is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> he went off at the end. He went uh, off at the end. What was that last three beeps right there? <laughs> can, y'all feel, can y'all feel that in? Uh, oh, man. Yeah, I know what that was. <laughs> blank. Blank yeah. you. And yeah. Chopper, too. Sound like he was cussing Chopper, yeah. too, man. <laughs> uh, Play too much, Chopper. That was crazy. crazy that to the club. Yeah. Well, oh, that's what man. Chopper more familiar with. Chopper, yeah, all, Chopper spent all his time at the club. Uh-huh. Chopper wasn't at the church. church. Right, you know, right. people want to be buried where they familiar with. That's something yes. they've been around. All that stuff. What? 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 I'm with you. People might not be having funerals at the club, but they damn sure having the repast at the club. I've had a bunch of them at my club. <laughs> really? A lot oh, of at your, oh, a it. lot of them. A lot of them, Shirley. I'm telling you. Really? Sometimes you can't find a place to put a whole family before COVID. I'm the people that, can we rent the club? And then they put a big picture on stage mm. and they dance and have, yeah, they, man. Yeah, it's hey, a celebration. Hey, you know that yeah, it's a celebration, uh, right? Right. Celebration right. of life. Yeah. 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 Mississippi Monica sent me a picture <laughs> of a guy on the back of the of a truck propped up, and they was having his funeral outside. He was sitting in a chair. Right. Oh yeah, you remember? Yeah. They did, did you see that? that? In Chicago yeah. years ago. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. do that. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. They yeah, yeah. They had this guy sitting up in the casket. The casket had lights oh. and everything now, on it. Like casket. But t- but explain the ride to me over there. Though. The ride <laughs> over there. That's got to be crazy. Explain. That. You got to. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. People get yeah, creative. Your home will yeah. bury you any way you want to be buried, as long as they got their money. They don't long give as, a damn. As long as you got that check, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you write money, Jay, because they do not want a check. They don't have. <laughs> yeah. You want him on All the right. diving board, okay? Thank you, right. nephew. <laughs> Coming up next, my strawberry letter subject: grandparents gone wild. Wait till you hear this. We'll All get right, into it right, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Well, yesterday, it was just yesterday that Georgia Democratic Senate candidate John Ossoff was our very special guest. And President-elect Joe Biden was in Georgia campaigning for both Reverend Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff. Uh, The time is now, Georgia. Early voting is underway from now until December 31st uh, in the Georgia Senate runoff election. Please don't forget January 5th, 2021 is Election Day. Georgia, we need you to show up and show out. Vote for Reverend Raphael. 
Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff. Okay, go to vote.org to get more information on Georgia polling places. Please do that. We got to finish the job. Finish the job, Georgia. All right. Let's go, yes. Georgia. Yes, we got to do it. Finish the job. Get it. And we can do it. We can yes. definitely do it. Yes. Can't tell how many times I've heard that and paid good money for it. Finish the job. <laughs> Time now for today's Strawberry Letter as we move on. Uh, And listen, if you need advice on dating, work, parenting, sex, mostly sex. I mean, that's what these letters are about. We we got to admit that, okay? (laughs) Uh, Submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one. Pop it, Shirley. Yeah, right here, right now. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is, the strawberry letter. Thank you, nephew. Subject, grandparents gone wild. Dear Stephen Shirley, my grandparents have been married for over 40 years, and they both have gone buck wild. About a year ago, my grandpa confided in me that he'd met a younger woman, and he enjoys her company a lot. He started getting a bunch of tattoos, and I told him he better not let my grandmother see them. He would tell my grandmother he was hanging out at the lake or at his barber shop, but he'd tell me that he was with his girlfriend. I asked him if the girlfriend was taking his money, and he says she's not taking it because he's happy to spoil her. (laughs) He's a diabetic. Wait a minute. He's a diabetic. (laughs) Uh, uh, (laughs) Okay. He's a diabetic. Yeah. He's a (laughs) diabetic. I don't know. That's a clue, maybe. He He read. He's a diabetic. (laughs) Wait a minute. He's a diabetic, so I told him to be sure he's taking care of himself. Uh Uh-oh. He told me where I could reach him, and if I couldn't get him on his cell phone, uh, if I couldn't get him on his cell phone, I thought my grandmother would be upset with him. Oh, okay, it's not Jay. I, I thought my grandmother would be upset with him being gone so much, but she was doing her thing on the side, too. She uh-huh. called me one. Okay, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Grandparents gone wild is the subject. She <laughs> called me one night because she needed a ride to her friend's house. I thought I was driving her to a church member's house, but she told me she was going to see her boyfriend, and she swore me to secrecy. Uh, she told me to pick her back up in two hours, but I was so disturbed I just sat there and waited. I told Maybe her I'd never take her over Ab. there again. <laughs> yeah, I told I'll her I'd never take her over there again. I'd never take her over there again, is what I told her. Uh, so she began driving herself, and she'd stay out until 2 a.m. on the weekends. I got a call last week from a man that said he's my grandma's boyfriend, and he said my grandma was in the ER because she fell off a bike, but she's fine. Uh, He said she wanted me to come pick her up. I fussed all the way home, and she told me to mind my business. My Mm -hmm. My grandpa also told me to mind my business when I fussed at him. How did I get in the middle of this mess, and what am I supposed to do with these two old cheaters? Oh, get your (laughs) papa and get your nana, okay? Uh, They're doing way too much here, way too much. How did you get into it when you didn't shut your grandpa down when he first told you that he had a girlfriend? Uh, That's Mm. how you got into the middle of it. You allowed your grandpa to share his private business with you uh, instead of saying, nope, grandma, uh, grandpa, grandma, don't drag me into your mess. Uh, You listened and became his confidant, so now he's comfortable telling you everything. I guess at, at some point, he wants to tell someone. He can't just tell anyone. He trusts you. And, uh, well, to make matters worse, now your grandma is doing the same thing. <laughs> they got to know about it. They got to know about each other because she's not worried about him, and he doesn't sound like he's worried about her. Uh, so it's you. I mean, you know, you they, you got to get them to stop telling you. You got to get them to stop including you. You got to get them to stop involving you. And until you take yourself out of the equation, uh, that's what is going to continue happening. Uh, if you don't approve of what they're doing, tell them both to stop. And if they don't, tell them you're going to tell on them. All right? But please, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, she can do a little blackmail there. Yeah. But but please, you still got to watch them from afar so they won't get hurt or anything like your grandma. Grandma already ended up in the ER. We don't want that yeah. to happen again. Yeah. All, right, All right, but tell him to stop. You don't want to hear it. All right, come on, Jay. Look at him. Both of your grandparents is getting sex so good, they want to mm. tell their grandchildren. Now, you know it's good. <laughs> okay. When, when you want to oh. tell 
your grandchild how good this is? This this good. this some good ass sex right here. Look at him, <laughs> baby girl. Come here, let granddad tell you something. The other night, oh my god, and, Papa! And, and then here, here come grandma. Child, come here. Come on in here. I don't want nobody else to hit it. But Herbert did something to me. I, they still do that. Oh, my God, baby girl. Don't tell your granddaddy what I just told you now, but it was nice. It was nice. It was nice. <laughs> That's between <laughs> us. <laughs> I like the part good. when she asked him, is uh, is she taking money from him? And he said, no. You know, she ain't taking no money. I'm uh, giving it to her. Man. Yeah. Giving it to her. I love spoiling her. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's good sex wow. right there. You gotta tell your grandkids that's some good ass sex right there. <laughs> that's hilarious. He's gotta be, yeah, he's gotta be careful. He's a diabetic. He gotta tell somebody, right? Yeah, yeah. He's a uh, diabetic. Her grandma was in the house in the ER, so they need to be careful. Okay. Need you to go down to the grocery yeah. store. Need but you to go anyway. down to the drugstore, get granddaddy fun meds. Go on down there and pick them up for me. Get them fun meds. Fun anyway, meds. yeah. We'll come back with part two of the Strawberry Letter subject, Grandparents Gone Wild, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, let's recap the Strawberry Letter for today. The subject, Grandparents Gone Wild. A uh, granddaughter call uh, wrote in because her grandfather and her grandmother both are cheating on each other. The grandfather told her first, confided in her that he's got a young woman and uh, he enjoys her company a lot. He's starting to get a lot of tattoos and everything. He tells his <laughs> wife, <laughs> yeah, you he know. He's getting tatted? Tat- yeah, he's getting all yeah. tatted up. He uh, tells his wife that he's hanging out at the lake or at the barber shop, and she, the granddaughter did ask him if he's um, um, giving the young girl money. Is she taking his money? And he said, no, he's, she's not taking it because he's happy to spoil her. He's mm-hmm. also a diabetic, so the granddaughter is warning him to take care of himself. Now, he told her that. Then her grandmother confided in her that she's got a boyfriend yeah. and has been asking the granddaughter to drive yeah. her to her man's house. Yeah. She got a call one night. Me, me? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Mimi? Mimi. She, she, she got a call one night from her grandma's boyfriend saying that her grandmother was in the ER. So, you know, she's fussed at her grandfather and her grandmother, but they told her to mind her own business and just stay out of it. And she wants to know what should she do with these two old cheaters. Junior, what you got? Yeah, I like it. I like that. I normally ain't for cheating, but I'm for this one, though. I like this. <laughs> oh, this is fun, right? See, these ain't just sitting on the porch, grandparents, right here. They out and acting. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. What you should do, though, lady, what you need to do is just keep your mouth shut because you're yeah. the key to this whole thing. Don't say nothing. <laughs> keep your mouth shut. All this is, really, though, is two old people who don't like each other. Uh-huh. See, uh-huh. The, the, see uh-huh. the problem is nobody told anybody what they was doing. Don't nobody care what nobody else. They don't even care if they go to the ER. That's how you know they don't even like each other. But they're right. also too old to get a divorce. They don't even care. Yeah. So what you need <laughs> right. to do, lady, this this is gonna help you out a lot. Granddaughter. Keep you some insulin. And keep uh-huh. you some gas, because you're going to be right. busy. <laughs> keep, That's right, Junior. some insulin yeah. and keep you some gas, because you're supposed to be moving. Okay? Yeah, Grandpa already told you, if you, if you can't get to me now, something happened to me. Bring me my insulin. You know I'm diabetic. And also, <laughs> keep that phone on. The three things, you're going to be all right. Insulin, yeah. gas, and that phone. Uh-huh. You're going to be good. But yeah, you like it, Junior. Junior, yeah. weren't, you, weren't you a little, little afraid when it said he's a diabetic? I mm. thought it was Jay. Uh-huh. I got we uh-huh. thought it was Jay. We thought it was you, Jay. I said uh-huh. it. man. We did. We did. I did. Uh-huh. Come on, tell me what you got. Grandparents go wild. Y'all Here missing we, it, baby. Look, okay, b- young lady, baby girl, wh- why don't you see a gold mine that's staring you right in the face? You don't oh understand. You got millions right here. Listen, go back and look at all the gone wilds. Girls gone wild. Animals gone wild. Crackheads gone wild. Moms gone wild. Madonna girls. They've all made millions. Uh, what you got? You got freaky grandparents gone wild. Oh, no. and they, Does anybody yes, want to see that, though? No. And, there's, and there's so much footage. Everything you said, you got diabetic. We got insulin. We got to look at that. We got 2 a.m. in the 
morning. Grandmama done fell. She in ER. All this is on tape. Riding a bike, then fell off of it. This is great footage. You don't understand. And, and who watches TV more than anybody? Older people. They sit there all day and watch TV. So guess what? Right after Wheel of Fortune goes yeah. off, what's next? What's next? Coming up, it's freaky grandparents gone wild. I like it. She's sitting like on a gold go line. make money That's up in here. You don't TV see what you got right. going on. <laughs> Start filming, baby. It's millions in the air for you. This yes, is what. Yes. Oh, I, I long for times like this that I could just shoot some people in my family that's just got. This is. This, you, know, you know how much. What, what do they call it? Wait, content. What? This is content. This, this is, is great content. Idea. This is a great idea. Look, shoot, he content. means film. He means no, film. No, I know, but in his family, though? Yeah. That's, I, don't, I don't care. I, got I don't it. care who family yeah. is. Whatever family. I don't care. All I know is Netflix is looking for what? Content. Content. Hulu is looking for what? Content. Content. Amazon looking for what? Content. Freaky grandparents gone wild. I'm tuning in. Hello. That would pay pay for your subscription right there. Yeah. There you go. (laughs) Wow. Freaky grandparents gone wild, baby. Don't pass up the money. The money right in front of you, okay? But didn't you... Didn't you love the boldness of the grand, grandmother's boyfriend? Yeah. He yeah, called yeah. the granddaughter up. Yeah, this is your grandmother's boyfriend. This, this, what? <laughs> this Jada. Jada. Yeah. Yeah. Jada won't let you know your grandmama in the ER, but she fine, though. Fell off a bike. <laughs> we bike riding down the park, trying to do something romantic. We too old for this. Yeah, this this, 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 this Edward Lee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. This Edward Lee. <laughs> great. I love it. Sure, they wow. don't even care. They don't even care. I, I, you know what I crazy. think helped? I think that what? Master Link popped on that chain, when they, if that's what happened. That Master Link come off that chain, and that's what happened. And she fell off that bike, but she going to be fine. Her, her <laughs> wig is a little tilted, but she's going to be all right. A couple of scrapes and bruises, but she's mm-hmm. fine. Though. Was she's he fine. there, though, in the ER with her, or did he just take her and drop her well, off? You, in try, case you gotta her drop husband. her off. You don't want no yeah, trouble. She got to be dropped off. Grandfather mm-hmm. Oh, you can't got just got leave me, me now. Yeah, you ain't gonna yeah. leave me, me, by well, I think he did, though. Yeah. Grandfather uh-huh. got a tattoo going across his chest, number one sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> like Thug Life. <laughs> like Thug Life. <laughs> it, it might be his booze name. It might be his booze mm-hmm. name. <laughs> <laughs> just don't let Grandmama see that tattoo. I don't care if she see it or not. Yeah, they really, they don't care they don't care ah, that is hilarious yeah. ah, mm-hmm. i love it that's the only person that cares that's is funny. the granddaughter yeah uh-huh. yeah uh-huh. yeah all right thank you guys post your comments on today's strawberry letter at steve harvey fm on instagram and facebook all right coming up next junior with sports talk right after this you're listening to the steve harvey morning show all right guys listen up junior is here with sports talk what you got junior all right, first of all, let's go ahead and get to it, man. Let's say a big congratulations to uh, the Greek freak. He ain't leaving Milwaukee. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Ooh, how, how you say his name? Say Ooh, I want to hear you Giannis say it. Say it. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> <laughs> the Greek freak is going to stay in Milwaukee. That's all it is. Giannis Antetokounmpo. One more time. One more time. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis Antetokounmpo. It's staying in Milwaukee for on a five-year deal. Check this out. $228 million max contract what? for five years. I don't see no problem with playing in Milwaukee. I, I I'll stay ever, right there. I, I, I will never leave there. Be drinking Milwaukee million. beer every day. Hey. <laughs> hey. In Milwaukee, man. That's it. Congratulations. So he's going to stay. They're trying to get Harden to go down there and play, but we don't care. He can go anywhere he want to go. So I ain't no money left there. for Harden. Yeah, we don't care. <laughs> we don't care where he go. Hey, he want to leave, leave. But also, Y'all want in other him to news, leave Houston? Get ready yeah, for him to yeah, go. He wanna, if you don't want to be there, you don't want to be here. I don't care at this point, Jay. We don't I really, really care. Don't. We don't want to be here. But what the, what the, what the, what the, Shirley, what does Shaq say? Hey, hey listen. <laughs> yeah, Shaq, Shirley, what does Shaq win say? Win or lose, win or lose, we all get in our phantoms and do what? Drive <laughs> to our home. mansions. Yeah, that, that's all well and good, Shaq, but you want to be happy when you're in that damn phantom. You don't want to be all lose every damn game. <laughs> <laughs> want to win sometime. But you want to win sometime. Did y'all see this, though, in other news, though? People are still wondering, did NFL uh, Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson pull a Paul Pierce when he left the Ravens Brown- versus the Browns game in the fourth quarter? Lamar said he, got hit, he had to go get an IV to deal with some cramps he was having. Well, Lamar Jackson did return to the game, and Ravens beat the Browns with a last-minute field goal, 45-42. to 42. Now, they, where but they junior, getting this from? Huh? Junior, but he came back at yeah. fourth down. He came back at fourth down, yeah. And and, um, and, and, and threw the touchdown. That was sweet. I have a question, yeah. Junior. I have a yeah. sports question. Yeah. The hero I have a sports question. I'm watching uh-huh. the game because I just got game. into sports. I just got into sports, so I don't okay. know too much. 
how come every time a black quarterback beat a white quarterback, they both win and they ain't got nothing to be sad about? <laughs> I, I need to know that because every time I see a black quarterback beat a white quarterback, they both should hold their heads up. No. He lost the damn game. <laughs> the white guy so he lost. Lost. <laughs> Make the clear, we dealing Jay. With, we're dealing with this in the White House right now. Uh-huh. The same, we're dealing with the same. He yeah. lost. Not only did he lose, a crippled Negro came out. Came out. <laughs> Uh, where, where did they go? The dugout? The, I don't know where they, they go. Went to, the they locker, to the locker room. To the locker room. The dugout. Negro, a crippled Negro came out, yeah. fourth day, and won the game. No, you got something to be sad about. You got yeah. your ass beat. This is not real league crippled. football. Everybody don't get no participation trophy. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to put oh, that man. out there. All right, listen. Coming up at the top of the hour, we'll look yet again into the mind of J. Oh, Anthony no, Brown no, right no, after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ladies and gentlemen, put on your seatbelts. We're on our way into a place that we should not be going. We're going deep inside of J. Anthony Brown's mind. Hold on. All right, this one, uh, this one is a little touchy. Here we go. This is my Uh-oh. impression. Mm. This is my impression if Santa Claus got pulled over by the police. If okay, Santa Claus seriously, Jay. Oh, got my pulled over. <laughs> Listen, 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 he's on a sleigh. Let's go, let's, run it, let's go, run it, know, Jay. Listen. First of all, I pulled you over because you were doing God knows what in a 35 mile an hour zone. That's the first thing. You got no headlights on this sleigh at all. This red nose ain't going to kid it. You driving without a license. You ain't wearing a seatbelt or a mask. You ain't got no mask on. The vehicle is way overweight, way overweight. <laughs> Yeah, you're landing on rooftops with an auto permit. You got no registration. <laughs> None of the reindeers have on diapers, and they dropping stuff all over these people's houses. <laughs> Why is he so stupid? Did Why, you say Lord. you was going to go in people's houses and leave gifts? That's breaking an entry. I don't know if you know that. Just That's breaking an entry. But I tell you what, tell you what. Tell you what, I'm in the Christmas what? spirit. I'm mm-hmm. feeling good about Christmas, so I'm just going to give you a warning, mm-hmm. and I'm going to let you go, okay? okay. I'm going to let you go. Ho, ho. Uh, right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that you said? Say oh. that again. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. No, say that again, what you said. Step out of the vehicle, please, and put your oh. hands on the sled, okay? <laughs> there you have it. It's set close got pulled over by the police. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. What was that you said? What was that? Step out of the vehicle. <laughs> That's, funny. That's funny, Jay. Right. That's stupid. That's stupid. Yeah. There's Explain a lot of you. stuff that goes on in your head. I mean, in your mind. It's, it's, it's That's a black Santa that Claus, go Jay. Chemicals go up there first, and then the thoughts come out. Uh, let's be clear. <laughs> let's be clear. <laughs> or hazy, or hazy. Either one. Uh, yeah, one of the two. One of the right, two. right. See why you flying high. You high. I know. That's what's wrong. Yeah, 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 I'm flying high because I'm high, yes. Well, yes, speaking yes. of Santa Claus, are you guys ready for Christmas? I mean, it is really next it's Friday. Here. It's mm-hmm. next yeah. Friday. Yeah. yeah, I'm ready. Are this you is not you're, a, uh, ready? You're ready, yeah, you're ready. ready Jay? I, I thought you were yeah. more like the, kind of like, no, kind of like the Grinch. No, no, because here's how I do. Here's how I do. Okay. Add up what you got for the whole year. Mm-hmm. That's when you've been calling me, begging for money. That's your yeah. Christmas gift. So oh, if you, if, Yeah, that's I how right. I do it. Yeah. You are yeah, that's like the Grinch. Grinch. Right. And so he pretty much Grinch. everybody yeah. covered. Everybody covered. Because everybody got something this year. Well, yeah. thank you. I, then thank you. I got. I guess I got mine with your hotter than a mofo <laughs> stuff. Your I didn't even sauces. get mine. I didn't oh, get mine. Oh my god! Y'all didn't get it. Oh I man! Got I got mine. Mine. Seriously, seriously. <laughs> it's I want good. y'all. I want y'all to enjoy my nuts. So I'm gonna make sure that everybody get my nuts. So I apologize if you thank, have not thank, received I... my nuts. Jay, they're hot. Ooh, they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tommy. What were you gonna say, man? They're hot, but you can't. You know, Jay. I, I... I can't just call you and say, hey, man, your nuts was good. I can't do that. It's just... <laughs> I 
love your hot sauce, but... But you just can't tell me my nuts is good, huh? You I just can't, can't do it. <laughs> yeah, and then he'll say, well, that was your Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Man, your nuts no. is good, man. Don't keep keep it to yourself. Don't tell Merry nobody Christmas. that, but I really enjoyed your nuts, man. <laughs> How did y'all enjoy my nuts? Oh, man, get on out of here. Go to mofo.com. Get you some nuts, y'all, because these nuts are good. Uh, are they hot, too? Mo- no, I got new flavors mofo. coming out. I got brand new flavors coming out. I got uh, salt and vinegar coming out, pecan, oh, wow. sweet, sweet pecans. Yeah, I got about four new flavors coming out. So, yeah. Okay. Way to go, right. Jay. More yeah. nuts from Jay. Okay. Oh, more more nuts. Yeah. Can't tell how many times I heard that and paid good money for it, Cheryl. Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up, more of today's trending stories at 20 minutes after the hour, right here on the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Mm. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Here's another question for you guys. What foods, now think about this one, what foods did your mom make you when you were sick as a kid? All right, oh. there's some foods that always remind us of being sick when we were a kid. And, you know, the standard, of course, is chicken soup. So mm-hmm. is there one food or is there one soup that reminds you of being sick when you were a kid? Or which did your mom make for you um, that you make for your kids now? How about that one? Oh, mm. I can't do that to my kids. Uh-uh. What? You can't? Like I can't what? do that. My mom... My mama what made me a hot toddy with a shot of Jack Daniels in it. I was cold yeah. on the floor. Yeah. I can't do that to my kids. I can't put that in there. I'm, I'm with you, Tommy. I, I couldn't do that. My mama would take that Vicks Vapor Rub and put uh-huh. it in some tea and make yeah. you drink that. And it says on the bottle, don't do not swallow. Do, it yeah. says that right on the bottle. Do not uh-huh. swallow. They didn't care. You still you here. didn't have a cold anymore, did you? Uh-huh. Yeah, you still here. Yeah. it right up. We living. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. We had um, castor oil. I had to take castor yeah. oil with that. oranges. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was so With nasty. oranges? No, what's the oranges for? To yeah, cut the taste. Cut, cut, cut the taste. Yeah, to cut the taste because castor oil was yeah, so castor oil nasty. Tastes like nothing. Mm-hmm. What about yeah. Did you your call? mom put that, that Vicks vapor rub on your chest, all on your chest when you yeah, just all over your, your body? Yeah, chest, in my nose. Yeah, yeah. yeah all up your yeah. nose, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll say, you know what? The standard was soup, and, and it was always like apple juice. You had to drink like clear, yeah, liquid, lots of apple clear juice, liquids right. and uh-huh. ginger ale and cracked. All right, more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show and some trending news coming up at 33 minutes after the hour, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go into a place <laughs> that you may have never gone before. <laughs> A place that gets dark, a place that has corners and crevices and <laughs> places where people really should not belong. We are going deep into the mind of J. Anthony Brown. <laughs> all right. First of all, 2020 yeah. has been a fantastic year. Had a good year, a movie, a TV show, working here, got better. Now it's time for Murders the Hits. Now this segment is called Murders the Hits, Okay. Do not compare it to the original hit because this is being murdered. Listen to the message. That's what this is about.
<laughs> <laughs> I love it, Jay. Oh, good. That was good, Jay. Very good. Oh, I love it, Jay. Thank you. Taking that new vaccine. Taking that new vaccine. Taking that new vaccine. Uh-huh. Hey, Jay. Hey, 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 so we doing... Hey. We I doing a new a, song. I was on a doobie yeah. when I was. Hey, I was on a doobie when I was trying to sing that damn song. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, our last break of the day. We'll be back at forty nine right. minutes after the hour. Right after this, <laughs> you're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, here we are. Last break of the day. We have to remind everyone in Georgia that early voting is now. It's going on right now. Uh, This is for the Georgia Democratic Senate race. All right. It's between uh, John Ossoff and Dave Perdue and, of course, um, Reverend Raphael Warnock and uh, Kelly Leffler. Okay, but we want you to vote for John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. Okay, that's who we're pushing in the state of Georgia. That's who we want you to vote for for on this mm. Steve Harvey morning mm. show, okay? The time is now, Georgia. Uh, like I said, early voting is underway until December 31st. Um, please don't forget, January 5th is the actual election day, January 5th, 2021. Georgia, let's go. Once again, Reverend Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff, who was our special guest yesterday. Go to vote.org. Uh, to get more information on Georgia polling places, all right? We got to vote. Finish yeah. the job. Get them yeah. to Washington. We did it once. Please. We can do it again, Georgia. You can do it, Let's again. Do it again. Flip. Oh, yeah. yeah. Flip. Yeah. Georgia. Flip. It. Georgia. Mm-hmm. Flip. Flip it. Georgia. Flip it. Shout Flip out to Stacey Abrams, too, who's just working oh yes. so hard. Ooh, who's doing an extra so hard. Yes. Queen is yes, doing yes, it. Yes, she yes. is she doing is. it. She's queen she for sure. He turned into a foot soldier. When she lost, when she lost, she went, okay. You know, I'll when show a black you. woman going, oh, Yeah, I'm not okay, going okay. anywhere. Uh-huh. 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 No, I'm this though, going Jay. <laughs> I can show you better than I can tell you. I yes, can tell you yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, when a black woman goes, Oh, it's like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, All right. Do <laughs> okay. Votes. Huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, votes. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not going to I got to tell y'all. I got to tell y'all this. Um, Catch me and Will Packer on The Real on Thursday morning. Me and Will Packer will be on The Real the talk on Thursday show. morning. Okay. The talk show The Real with Lonnie Love and the rest oh, of the ladies. Oh, Lonnie yes. Love. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Lonnie. Oh, excuse me. Lonnie. PV, you yeah. know Lonnie Love. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Love now was happening, yeah. girl. Yeah. All Prairie purple, View. Like, oh, well, we yeah. everywhere, ain't we? Yeah, yeah, Junior. <laughs> so tell me, what are you guys going to be talking about? We're talking about Ready to Love. We're talking oh, about the show. Ready to Love, yes. Yeah. We are yeah. talking about the TV show. Mm-hmm. And the reunion? Oh, that's cool. And the, reunion. the reunion is coming up. Oh, Y'all got to get ready. It'll, it'll be in January. So That's going to be great. Oh, my God. You, can you give us a little not. hint? Mm-mm. Just... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'll give will... you a hint. Don't miss it. That's the hint. <laughs> Don't miss it. <laughs> a hint and an instruction. Okay. Show. Do oh, not so miss it. Okay, it's going to be out the chain, huh? Don't miss it. Yes. Uh, yeah. yes, yes. It was yes. good this season, it. too. It, it was, was excellent. Mm-hmm. So it good. really was. Congratulations, hey, Tommy. Tommy. I'm just really, really proud of you. I love how you go in and and you give the guys advice, you give the ladies advice. I, I just love that. You know, we get to see a whole different side whole of whole different that's, side. Yeah, that's really refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. Very you know great what advice. Side we get mm-hmm. to see of you, Tommy. <laughs> What's that? You listen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carla. Thank you. That's what you're exactly a listener what it is. on that. You yeah. got oh, to listen. Really, yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. Unlike Let this me. show. Oh. <laughs> I ain't hear <laughs> nothing <laughs> y'all talking about <laughs> on this show. What? Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. But I am listening, mm-hmm. uh-huh. especially to the ladies. You got to hear what they're saying. You got to hear oh, what yeah. they're going through, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You and got to, to feel what. You got to feel it because they, you know, they, they emotions are out there. So you got to be oh, listening. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're grown women. Ready to uh-huh. These are grown, grown women. women. Yeah. When yeah. is Denise going home? <laughs> she's great TV. <laughs> she can't go. She can't leave. Uh-uh. But she's great TV. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Woo, we'll Denise push. something else, man. She's possessive. <laughs> I'll put it like that. Do you do you see when she be passing by Cal Funny and he be talking to somebody yes. else? Baby. Yes. <laughs> She's Ooh. always not far. She's always in his eyesight. And it'd be a, it'd be a death look. It's a death look uh-huh. when she passed by. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see That's you. That's my man. I see you. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, keep it yes, cute yes, here. Yes. Keep it cute. <laughs> you all, look, you got to get into Ready to Love. It is good. This is the third season, but you can go back 
and catch yeah, season yeah, one, yeah, catch yeah. season two. It, it is so good. It's you'll so you'll good. be happy That's you did. Show. Yeah, you'll be hooked. You'll be and hooked. And from oh. ready to love to assistant living you on BET. I was wondering when y'all was coming over. <laughs> come on, <laughs> come Shay. Shay. Come come on, Shay. Shay. Yeah. I'm sitting here. I wonder when you was coming over. <laughs> come on, tell us about that. assistant living, Jay. No, man, we go back to the production. This suit seven, uh, season seven, eight, nine, and ten. We and we'll do it on the weekend. What? Was in one weekend, Tyler. In one weekend. Tyler. Out in a weekend. Shoot, season seven, eight, nine, to Mr. Perry don't play. You uh-uh. work for him. You know how he rolled, Tommy. You know he don't play. Man, I work for him, boy. Let me tell you something. One thing, I'm when I hit his set, I know my lines, buddy. I'm not going to be missing my lines. I'm not new, partner. So Tyler doesn't Perry. play when it comes to that? Oh, he don't play. He don't play. He I, you don't know play. what? I just respect him as the leader. He yes. is the guy that yeah. has put this. I mean, he, oh he has paved God. his way. He has done it. So you want to respect him the way you go on anybody else's set and respect him. Be professional. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so tell us what, what, what else, It's Jay? Assisted Living every Wednesday night, you all starring your boy, man, Vinny. Congratulations <laughs> to both of you guys. We're yeah, real man. happy for you. Good we really year, are. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and, and and to Mr. Perry, Mr. Perry, I tried to call your people, and then, but they gave me to your other people and your other people's people. I don't know when you going to get the word that I tried to get to you, but sooner or later that you, they'll tell you. But yeah. Tommy tried to call oh, you, he Mr. Listens. Perry. You know he listens. Well, I'm telling, I'm telling you trying to call him. Nah. Oh. Okay. okay. Thank you. Don't count right, on it. He from, gonna from hate ready on you. to love to assisted living. We yeah, are peace It'll make it Thank happen, you. man. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh boy. I'm proud of you guys. Really yeah. Proud. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks to everyone for uh, listening and uh, appreciating our show. We certainly oh, love man. you and appreciate you. Yes, we do. All right. Yes, Happy holidays. Do. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Happy New Year. You know, doing doing the show really helps us get through what we're going through, too. And you know that people are listening yeah. who are going through way, way worse than what we're yeah. going through. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they get up in the morning and they listen, we just, we really appreciate that. Yeah. We really appreciate it. Because you don't have we to. Do. We thank you. We really do. Well said, Jay. Well said. For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 